Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Red Neck and Eyes. The home of the do-it-yourself trucker. When everything goes wrong, you got a Red Neck and Eyes. What's going on, truckers? Thanks for watching. Now, I wanted to talk about an article that was just recently released by Trucker Tools announcing that they were integrating with an app service called Truck Park. And that is an app that provides uh, truck parking access for truckers out out there on the road. And it also lets you search and pay for the parking spots in the app itself. Now, Trucker Tools is going to be actually integrating this as an in-app feature for their app. And so that it'll just add to the many things that Trucker Tools already already does provide. So I was deepened into the article a little bit, and uh, and I had never really heard of Truck Park before. I downloaded the app and searched for it. It's pretty good. It, it allows you to search for parking spots, you know, using a map uh, or uh, location searching. But what it does is it it uh it has little highlighted areas where you can click on it and and locate that parking lot and then reserve a spot and pay for it right then and there on the app now what, what i was looking at is is that it, it it's not really that widespread yet it still looks like it's growing it's a lot there's a lot of spaces in atlanta and there's a few spaces uh, like in north carolina and south carolina and parts of tennessee uh and then up north in like ohio and pennsylvania there's only like two spots in Texas right now. So, uh, and, and then there's quite a few spots like in Phoenix and in California. Now, the only thing I was concerned about was, you know, what are we paying for when we get these spots? I'm not really sure yet. If anybody out there has used this app and can give me more information, then I'll share it and we'll, we'll see about getting information out there to everybody. But what it looks like is, I mean, it's pretty expensive in some spots. I mean, you can go from $48 in Cleveland, Ohio, down to 10 or $15 down around Atlanta. And of course, it's all about availability, of course. Uh, some of them say that there's 10 spots available. Some say there's only four spots available. So it, if they know the spots are available, that's awesome. Because, you know, then, then we can pay for the parking. Now, I know a lot of drivers out there, and me included, I really don't like to pay for parking. If, if I apply myself, I'd probably be able to get a good spot. But in circumstances where there's limited space, you know, we, we got to do something. Uh, truck parking is getting harder and harder to, to get done and, and be abundance of, especially in these bigger cities where, you know, a lot of people may ask, you know, why can't we get more truck parking? Well, there's a lot of different problems. And, and uh, I think that it's all about the uh, property availability for one thing. And it's all about, you know, to me, it's taxes. There's so many taxes involved with having a parking lot. I mean, you've got the EPA wanting to make sure that the runoff isn't going to be bad. Or, you know, you've got uh, ground control where you've got to make sure that the drivers don't get stuck and stuff like that. That's just expensive stuff. And that's that's not even piled on to all of the, I don't know what to call them. If somebody's got a name for them, let me know. Just bad drivers that take advantage of free parking to the extent that they've got to charge. So now all of us who do what we can to take care of the parking lots, well, we're having to pay. Now, so wait a minute, you want me to pick up my trash and pay for the parking lot? You know, hey, I'll pick up my trash because I'm a good person and I'm not gonna be littering or or uh, uh, tearing up the fences around the parking lot, stuff like that. We gotta take care of it, you know? So, so when things like that, and like I said, the added expenses of uh, taking care of the concrete or the asphalt and then having to deal with the government agencies that are going to regulate that asphalt or, or services. I mean, the government wants their tax money and there's property tax. And of course, that's based off of, in most places, the value of the land. Well, the problem is, is that most truck parking is needed in the areas where the value of the land is the highest. We can all agree. Trucking consists of major routes of like the interstate highways on the four lane divided highways. Those are the major routes. Those routes uh, are traveled the most by trucks and the drivers are pretty much restricted to this because a lot of roads either aren't made for trucking or they just don't go where we need to go. And that's okay. We like getting on the highway and going down the highway. It's much easier. But then 
we're restricted to how long we can drive in a certain day. Now, everybody out there knows, and for you that don't, the rule states that a, a driver can't drive a big truck for more than 11 hours in a 24-hour period without shutting down and getting 10 hours of rest. And hey, you know what? We've come to terms with that too. We know that getting proper rest and, and taking care of responsibilities is important. So we want to be able to shut down and get that rest and take that time to reset, clean up, charge your batteries, whatever we need to do. The problem is, is that there's not a lot of facilities where we can do that. We need to, we, you know, we always talk about where we're going to park. Are we going to be able to get in there? Are we going to be able to get to the customer the next morning? What are we going to, what are we going to do when we get there? We're going to be able to eat. We're going to be able to do laundry. We're going to be able to, you know, have internet signal or some kind of cell phone signal. So when we're looking at this truck park app, like I said, they're still growing in their numbers on there, but I think it's a really good idea if we can locate parking spots. However, I'd like to see it integrated into the truck stops or maybe even there's businesses. Now, see a lot of them that I've looked at, they're, they're like trucking companies or storage facilities that allow truck parking like for long term and in fact some of them they say on there long term only and so that that could be a problem but if you're if you live in the area and you need to find a place to park truck uh truck park the app might be good for you the uh like i said the trucker tools is going to be integrating that into their app so not only will you be able to book loads or track loads or locate truck stops or fuel prices you'll be able to find truck parking as well. So that might be pretty good. I'd like to see more about the parking. Parking is a big deal. A driver could struggle to find a parking spot four to five days out of the week. Every single day, that question has to be answered. Where are you gonna park? And that's what we have to go through. We have day in, day out. You, when, as soon as we pull out of one spot, we start thinking about where's the next spot we're gonna park. Because that's always a dilemma we're having to do is find the parking. And we want to make sure, you know, what do I got to do? I got to, I need to find a place where I can do some laundry. I need to find a place where I get some showers. That's what we're worried about day in, day out is where we're going to park the truck. So that's my whole take on that. I, I really do like the, the whole uh, truck park integrating with trucker tools. I think it's going to be a good step for trucker tools to do this. Like I said, they're, they're already doing so many great things with the uh, load boards and the uh, tr load tracking that you can find Walmart, you can find truck stops, you can find uh, maintenance or in, in uh, uh, waste stations, rest areas. They got all that in there in the trucker app, uh, in the trucker tools app. And uh, this says here in the article, yeah, it says uh, integration work is underway with the full commercial availability expected by the end of April. So that'd be, uh, that's, and that's, that's pretty cool. And, you know, they've got trip planning, shipment visibility, predictive freight matching, and automated booking solutions. I mean, it's pretty cool. I pull up the app and they've already got like certain routes that are like the best paying routes out of the area that I'm in. You know and it'll suggest you know maybe you should look into this and then you can go search based on that or you can go a whole new search it's a pretty cool deal so the trucker tools uh, they really helped out redneck and nice and uh, i keep wanting to study them up and 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 learn a lot about them and now like i said they just announced that they're integrating with the truck park app to uh, to look at more parking availability i'd like to see more free parking come available uh, but I, I don't know if that's going to be available in the future. Like I said, since so many people want to dip their hands into the pot and, uh, and it costs money. I understand that. And I'm willing to pay, but I'm probably not a lot. I'm not, I don't like paying at all. You know, that's what we like going to truck stops. You know, we, we spend money on fuel. We spend money on food. The least they can do is, is provide us with a place to park, you know, and I like to see more businesses step up with that. I like to see like, you know, the Walmarts create more truck parking and the Lowe's, uh, stores, create more truck parking shopping malls create more truck parking we see we see that restaurants have availability for truck parking in some places where they've built a whole nother side or they have a back lot you know maybe a gravel on the side or something uh, we see like uh, you know there's always down here in south texas there's always some good barbecue joints that have got lots of parking for big trucks because they know big trucks love barbecue so uh, so yeah keep it up up there and uh Let's, uh, let's work on some more truck parking. And drivers, let's take care of that truck parking. 
you know we see out there we see maybe we need to clean up a little bit uh, maybe we see a driver that's not uh, living up to what he should be doing we need to we need to step it up we need to tell them you know the truck parking ain't free they're they may be providing it free but it's not free so we need to let them know how we care about truck parking and uh, and let's let's take care of that so until next time make sure you subscribe give us a like and share it let everybody know how we're doing out here all right and take care and we'll see you out there on the road